everyone. I want to talk about how an abundant mindset grows your business. How an abundant mindset grows your business. So as a business owner, you may be wondering, what difference does it make if I have an abundant mindset or not? We're going to talk this morning about how if you if you have big goals that are not average that are not necessarily the normalcy of what you see in everyday life <clears throat> your mind is your superpower and for many of you you feel that your hands the things that you do is the greatest of them all this may send you into hustle mode um, doing all the things a lot of stuff all the things right and it will bring on a measure of success but where it is out of alignment and balance is our body's capacity as one person with 24 hours in a day to do all that's necessary with the things that we're trying to do our way to wealth when it's really about who you're being it's really about what's going on within so 20 percent of the efforts that you're making in your business are funding 80 percent of your results so only 20 percent so there are so many things that you're actually doing that aren't yielding the results that you desire but those things are taking up space, right? They're taking up the capacity that you have for your business to go to the next level. So capacity is one of the things that I'm going to talk about on this morning. Have you ever seen someone in business and it just feels like they do their business with ease? Things come to them, they flow, they may come up with ideas. It, things just seem to come with ease for them one of the things about it even if they haven't like come to this awareness and and i say this because i remember this was prior to me actually owning a brick and mortar service-based business prior to me coaching and consulting um i was self-employed and so i rented a space and i did my thing there as a self-employed business owner and i remember like building in a clientele with so much ease like money coming to me with so much ease but because I didn't know the things that I know now I didn't know why that was happening right I had no idea why that was happening why money opportunities just they they were all around me they were easily accessible and in my personal space all the time but when I began to learn about the importance of our thinking and how it's actually dictating everything that we do and we don't do in our life as this became a part of my body of work and how i show up in the world and what i teach and train from because of my own personal experience and and i really tapped into this in a place where i found myself stuck so i go from this place of ease and flow and things just happening and me not even thinking about how easily things were coming into my life but I can remember even conversations with my girlfriend so it was every area of my life you know they would say well every time we go out you seem to meet the gentlemen who just want to do things for you and listen that was energy number one I had no idea of that then but it was in every area of my life and as time went on I began to be completely connected to people who thought differently who thought from a space of scarcity and a place of lack and i began embodying what they were embodying because energy is transferable energy is transferable and so when i found myself in that space of um i, I wouldn't even call it stuck because i was super ambitious and i was doing a lot of things and there were things that were working but the ease and flow of how things were working and growing there was a lot of resistance and it was because i had formed these limiting beliefs and so i had to power through all these thoughts that i was having because of the connections that i'd had with people 
who meant a lot to me, right? Their, what they said and did meant a lot. I cared deeply for them, but their mindset was in a different space. And after so much time, you be, regardless of whether you think you do or not, right? You begin to pick up those thoughts. And so if you are around people who are thinking from a, a space of scarcity and limiting beliefs, your subconscious mind, if your dominant mind isn't in a space of abundance, right? And abundance, hear me on this, abundance isn't necessarily you hustling and doing all the things and having 50 different things in your business and having your hands in all of the stuff. That's not abundance, right? Unless all of those things are flowing and there's an ease and a grace to those particular things. That's why I talk about mastery, right? Learning to master something so it can support itself and then building other um, streams of revenue or things under your umbrella in your brand. But it's completely different when you're building from a space of desperation, which is where I found myself in. It was like I still had visionary thoughts and dreams and goals and things that I was actually doing because I was ambitious. But the ease and flow of it had changed. And that's when I realized that things had been so much more um, easily accessible to me prior to that. And so I began to understand that my mind had a whole lot to do with my money and everything else that I was setting out to do. It, it became really clear to me that my mind was my superpower. So if, you're, if you have goals and you're ambitious and you're doing all the things, but the ease and flow of it is not, there, there's a lot of resistance that's coming up for it, it's very likely that you may feel you're in an abundant state, but still be operating and moving from a space of lack and scarcity. And these are limiting beliefs that we have that we just aren't aware of. And what we spend a lot of time doing is fighting off all of those limiting beliefs. And and the key to that is to retrain that subconscious programming. It's, it's what I had to do, right? And so now things happen with more ease and flow. Let's take this for an example. So imagine you have a goal to make $5,000 today. If you're in a space of scarcity and lack thinking, you will think of 50 different ways that you can get that done, which I think that process as an initial process would be good, but you would actually be trying to achieve all those ways. Your mind wouldn't automatically go to the best, easiest way to get it done. So I talked about some spiritual growth stages. I've been talking about them a few years now, and they're actually like levels of consciousness. And there's one stage where it, I call it the self-aware cyst stage, where you are aware of things that may have been previously holding you back. And so you've done a lot of things. You've become independent. You can, you're self-sufficient. You can take care of yourself. You, maybe you've gotten your credit straight and you know, you're just really going hard on things, which is an amazing place to be if you're coming out of a space where you felt like you were a victim, right? Where you felt like everything was happening to you instead of happening through you. In this self-aware stage, you are aware that the responsibility lies with you at this particular point. It is a level of consciousness that's absolutely amazing. Many people find themselves in this stage, but they never move out of it. They never necessarily move to the stage of ease and flow because there are still limiting beliefs that are telling them this is how you got to this independent stage, right? So you got to do everything in your power to keep it there, which often turns into a measure of being controlling. So not only are you wanting to control the scenario around you because maybe prior things just weren't going well and you found this space where you know you can kind of make things happen from this space, but you also have a tendency to control people, circumstances, situations because you don't feel comfortable if you don't have that tight knit level of control. In your business, it can also become a space where you are micromanaging, right? As opposed to allowing people to operate in their gifts. Now, that may come from the fact that you 
may not have hired properly so you feel like you just got to stand on top of people but it rolls over in so many ways it has a, a a polarity to it where it can be absolutely amazing for you at a certain point and then a place where it becomes a space of sabotage that space of um independence and control that you've gotten so there's another level of spiritual growth and consciousness that you go to and that is from a space of trust and so this would be where say that five thousand dollars that you wanted to make today where you would say i'm going to trust that this bigger thing right here is going to yield me the same result the same five thousand dollar day um or maybe it's a month for you but the same five thousand dollar day that all of these other things that i'm so used to doing them because i can kind of control this in my doing then trusting that if I put my energy and efforts towards this larger thing and release some of those other things, this will actually happen. So there's a space of trust that has to be developed for that next level. And that's when you're stepping into abundance. But what, what will happen is you will revert back to those old ways of hustling and grinding and doing it hard if you haven't tapped into that next level of spiritual growth or um, consciousness. So tapping into a new level of trust is huge. That is the abundant state. It is going to change the capacity that you have in your business. It is going to change the capacity that you have in your business. But all of that starts here. All of it is in the mind. And there's a retraining and a reprogramming process that you have to go through. It's not this overnight thing there's a space of awareness that you have to step into and so when we think about capacity at the current level if you're super ambitious you're gonna get it, get it done you you know gonna do all the things and I mean all the things all the busy things as well your capacity at the current time your mind is filled up with all of these things that you need to control so much so that you can't see abundance you can't see where abundance is, where it's coming from a space of ease and flow. Now, if this is making sense to you, I want you guys to put it, let me know in the comments. You come back on and watch the video. Let me know that this is registering to you. This is also a good time for me to do an introduction. I didn't. I'm Tanya Wilson, Master Life and Business Coach. I help women just like you step into their personal power, scale their businesses to six and multiple six figures, and create a lifestyle they love. We build businesses over here from within. We go on the inside because it's not what's happening to us, it's what's happening through us. And so what's going on internally for us is what is giving us all of our results. I teach from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset, which we're talking about today, personal growth and business building. I teach you to build a business that funds your lifestyle not run your lifestyle and oftentimes when we're in the self-aware stage where okay I finally figured this thing out where I kind of got a handle on things it needs to be done my way we don't leave the space for new empowerment new ideas new opportunities we don't have the capacity for the abundance because our minds and thoughts are filled with so much of the doing so much of the hustle so much of the grind right and so abundance is the thing that takes your business to the next level and having an abundant mindset is that thing that takes your business to the next level if you've followed me for quite some time you know that I host a mastermind call she prospers it is open for enrollment now I opened it early um, this particular time which has made space allow space given the capacity for uh, a larger time frame as it relates to installments so if you are a fast action taker if you know i'm really wanting to do some big things and i want to take this season and work on my mindset work on bringing abundance in from a different space of ease and flow in my life i want to still earn good money but I don't necessarily want to do it the same way. Yes, there are different strategies that you will do to bring that in. 
But if your mindset doesn't have the capacity to receive that this thing that you're hearing that you can do is a good thing, you'll always revert back to the old ways. If you haven't tapped into a space where you've gotten rid of some of those limiting beliefs, right? The, your mind has a capacity, and if it's filled with all that other stuff, it doesn't have the space to receive abundance at a new level. And that is going to require you to trust. And trusting means that you're going to do some things that make you feel like you don't have the control that you had at the other level that you want to move out of. I hope this is making sense to you all. So I invite you to join me to the she, in the She Prospers Mastermind. I've created a fast action offer for those of you who are willing to trust in this season. Right, are stepping into a new level of trust. You enrolling is your practice. I've included a bonus, my money mindset course. You get that absolutely free. You get that immediately um, as a bonus for joining the She Prospers Mastermind. And because I've launched it uh, weeks earlier than I normally would launch, this is actually my productive rest month, right? So this is a month that I don't do any live coaching. Um, I sell and things of that nature, but I that's what I take off the table. So during my productive rest months, I take some things off the table in my business that normally require my person in order to do, right? It's a space of rest, but productive rest for me. And I am able to create the largest, most profitable moves for my business. So we're in the second half of 2023 already. And this time is time for me to be able to really think from a more, even more abundant space. I'm doing what I'm teaching you all, right? Because I've taken some things off of the table so I have new capacity for greater ideas that bring things in with more ease, grace, and flow. And so because this is my productive rest month and she prospers, starts at the very beginning of next month there's a little extended time and so there is an opportunity for an extended installment plan at this time but it it will not stay that last option um, will change but for those of you who you're saying I'm stepping into a space of trust it is my mindset that I need to tap into I need to reprogram some things and step into a new space of abundance in order for my business to operate more abundantly I ask that you join me. I'm going to put the link in the comments again. Those of you who sign up today, you'll immediately get my Money Mindset course that you can begin working on immediately, right? Um, you can keep that in your library. Go back to it um, from time to time. You're going to hear and be aware because you're tapping into new levels of consciousness of different spaces of limiting beliefs that may have been holding you back. Our Money Mindset is normally developed from the time zero to seven when we are a child right however money was handled looked at talked about and dealt with during our youth we usually develop a mindset about that that we carry over into our adult life, adult life so even when you become self-aware you still you know if there were t scarcity thinking or talks or whatever around money then even when you step step into this place where you're independent now you can handle your business you know it still may be from a survival mode space. And so I want you to tap into thriving, right? You've mastered the other levels, right? Many people can earn six figures hustling, but it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. That's my take for you on today. How abundance impacts your business growth. It indeed impacts your business growth and tapping into it is what will help take you to your next level. I'll leave the links for you to join in the comments. You guys have a super amazing, we're in quarter three, right? Set some big goals, do some bold things. 